Spend it all, make it all back, make it all. All right, I reckon we'll go over there and get this telegram sent out to Judge Bruno. Oh yeah, well, yeah, let's do that. Evening. Welcome back. Howdy there, sir. I'm Sheriff Jess Wade. This is Marshal Drew Sisk. We'd like to send a telegram out to Judge Ray Bruno. Let them know that we're here and have arrived in Strawberry and are ready to start enforcing the law here. Please send that out to them whenever you get the chance. Appreciate it. All right then, Sheriff. Marshal, will do. Amen. I be damned. Here we are. Not too bad, huh? Yeah, it's pretty nice here. Uh, how does it feel to be the sheriff? Well, it feels more like a prison sentence than anything else. But it is what it is. How does it feel to be the marshal? Yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to it. It's um, pretty nice not having that much responsibility, you know. Yeah, well, at least we got four walls and a roof. That's kind of nice. Uh, I know we got that uh, that speech in the morning. You be ready for that? Uh, damn the speech. What time? I think in the letter that Mayor Young sent out... Uh, I think he said two o'clock in the afternoon, I believe. Well, I ain't too much of a public speaker, but I got something written out that I think will do just fine. Oh, yeah, that's good. Hey, you can't do any worse than the previous sheriff. Yeah, good point. Well, I know one thing. We ain't going to be your typical uh, law enforcement here. We ain't going to sit in an office all day. We'll be out scouting. We need to find out who, uh, who, who, who causes problems around this area, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, not too familiar with any enemies around here at all. Yeah, neither am I. Guess there's only one way to find out, and that's like we just said, go out and scout, find out on our own. Um, actually, yeah, I remember I heard of a, a, a Mormon camp settling around here recently. Yeah, I've heard of that too, huh. Hello, Jimmy. One second, Mr. Hitchcock. I don't want to rain on your parade, but it seems it's that time of the week, Jimmy. You're here for your payment, Mr. Hitchcock? Well, it's not that simple. I'm, I'm looking around and I'm seeing no threats. We came here to just um, provide our services like, like promised. So, um, where is your end of the deal here? Well, Mr. Hitchcock, here's the thing. We've suffered some some tragedies uh, and, and some setbacks from those snowstorms that we've had. Um, and, uh, you know, your protection services um, uh, haven't been quite adequate considering uh, the coyotes have been eating all of our, our uh, livestock up. So you're saying to me that you don't have the funds that were promised to me? Because you say some coyotes got into your your little plants, huh? Well, now it ain't that simple, Mr. Hitchcock. Now there's some. Oh, now hold on there. I, I know farmers that have that lose their lives every day. You should be thankful here, Jimmy. Oh, no, I'm thankful, Mr. Hitchcock. It's just that little extra cash I had had to had to go to fit towards feeding my family, man. Well, round of applause for Jimmy Mazell for protecting what's his and his only, apparently.
Well, Mr. Hitchcock, my family does come first, but yeah, I, I, I pay a man who's who's providing a service towards me. I don't play around with people's money. Thank you for understanding, Mr. All it comes down to is money. Lack of money and lack of promises. Lack of promises. You told me you would pay me, Jimmy. Where is my payment? Huh? Where is my payment, Jimmy? Hell with you. Hey, that's enough, Mr. Hitchcock. You're liable to kill him. Hmm. Pfeiffer, huh? What a fool. Never thought I'd had to kill a fella Greyback. Well, Richie, seems our our business is complete here. Right in Hitchcock. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your district attorney, Randy Adams. Please Give a warm welcome and round of applause to your mayor of the town of Strawberry, Mayor Chris Young. Put your hands together. Hello, everybody and good people of Strawberry. It's Chris Young here, your town mayor. Man, is it lovely to see all of your faces again. This is our annual announcement of our new sheriff who was just recently elected. We will have two speakers, the sheriff and his marshal, who were both sworn in by Judge Ray Bruno. So give it up for Sheriff Jess Wade and Marshal Drew Sisk. Hello there, fine people of Strawberry. I'm your Sheriff Jess Wade. This is Marshal Drew Sisk. Now I know what some of you are probably thinking. We don't look like your typical lawman, and that's true. But we both have experience in this line of work, and we aim to keep this a safe town as it's always been. I look forward to meeting all you fine folks, and I'm sure my Marshal feels the same way. Uh, hello everybody, I'm your Marshal here. We, uh, we aim to do right by this town and clear out anyone that sets to put us in the wrong direction. Do we thank you for having us? Nah, uh, it's been a pleasure. I'm alive, man, but I, I can't move my back. Check on that fella over there, right behind you. He saved me. He saved you? What the hell happened here? I'll tell you later. Just get us to the damn doctor. That boy's been shot. So we need to scout this area over here that uh, Sheriff Randolph had marked down. It's northwest of town. Uh, apparently people have been getting ambushed there on their travels. All right, good deal. You got it all written down. Excuse me. I'm looking for the sheriff of this town. Yeah, you're in the right place, mister. I'm Sheriff Wade. That's Marshal Sisk. What can we do for you? I'm a ranch hand over at the Mazel Farm. And on my way back into the ranch, I spotted... Mr. Jimmy Mazzell, the owner of the of the ranch, lied out in the dirt with the with the fella beside him with two gunshot wounds. They're over at the doctor right now. Oh wow! Did it uh, look like they were attacked? 
Oh, well, most definitely. Does uh, Mr. Jimmy have any enemies you know of? None that I know of. I gotcha. No one uh, he's been doing business with uh, that you don't know of or anything? He, he does business with all sorts of folks, considering that he's a farmer, but no one that really stands out, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. We'll look into it. Yeah, hey, mister, are they, uh, where are they at now? I dropped both of them off at the doctor. Uh, Mr. Jimmy Mazzell, he, he's pretty much okay. He suffered uh, some broken ribs and he, he injured his back. The other fellow that I found, he looked like he was a gunfighter of some sort. And he was shot two times. Um, one in the chest, I believe. Other in the shoulder. And the doctor said that it's going to take some time for him to recover. Um, but he should be good to go about tomorrow night. What the doctor thinks. All right then, sir. We appreciate that information. You're free to go now. We'll go over there and have a talk with him later. Okay, then. Thank you, fellas, again. Yeah, sure thing. Thank you. Well, damn, partner. We pretty much just got here, and we already got a case. Yeah, pretty serious one, too. Yeah, I know. I reckon, uh, we'll do like he told us. Maybe follow back up with the doctor tomorrow night and get some more details on whatever happened over there at that ranch. Yeah, sounds like the victims will live, so they should be able to tell us everything we need to know. Yeah, well, I'm interested to... Find out who that other fellow was he was talking about that he didn't know. Yes, might not be so simple. Hey, boys. Thanks for meeting. Hi there, Mr. Hitchcock. So, I don't know if you guys heard, but there was some complications with the Mazel fella. Mm. What went down? Well, we arrived to collect payment like promised, and it did not come through. I told you fellas this would happen, and we're prepared for it. We'll be back over there to talk with Mr. Jimmy to see that he'll, uh, he'll come through. For now, stay clear from there until my say-so. Another situation to bring up is the new law enforcement being hired in Strawberry. Uh, who it is, we do not know yet, but we aim to find out I have Angel going there tomorrow to scout and get some information. What about the Mormons? They know anything about them? Angel will also be meeting with one of them to keep our ties intact. Now I trust you three the most with this information, so keep quiet for now. Hey there, Mr. Lanesson. Uh, hello there, Mr. Nahar. Yeah, thank you for meeting with me. Of course, son, of course. What is this regard? What do you say we have a seat and we'll talk it out? Sounds like a pleasure. Hey, before we get into business, remember my son, Tens? Yeah, how's he doing? Blessed. Those boxing lessons you gave him last time you were at camp, he's still thriving from those. Oh, uh, well, that's good to hear. Uh, anyway, let's get down to business, Mr. Lanesson. I'm actually here on behalf of... Mr. Hitchcock, um, do you know anything about the new law enforcement that's coming to this town? Oh, well, actually, Brother Angel, I do. I figured you did. Um, how much do you know about him? Now, is this information being relayed back to Mr. Hitchcock? Of course, any information I get goes straight to Hitchcock. Oh, I figured so. Well, yes, these two individuals who are coming in this afternoon are... None other than Jess Wade and Drew Sisk. Jess Wade and Drew Sisk. Hmm. Well, word around town is that they're experienced gunfighters, gunslingers pretty much. Uh, what the hell are they doing as law enforcement? Oh, best question I've heard today. I still can't wrap my head around it. Those two unholy men do not deserve the position of law enforcement. They were hired under Judge Bruno, another unholy fellow. Now, I have strong recollection of them being criminals, outlaws at one point. I don't know what happened, but that's what I still know them as. They were never known as the charitable type. No, um, unlike uh, Mr. Sheriff Benny, who was previously here. Well, considering that Hitchcock is y'all's, Mormon's, biggest sponsor to your church, if they start going after and pursuing Hitchcock and his organization, then that means that you're going to lose your biggest funding and sponsor. So, here's what I suggest you do. Do you still have good ties with Bishop Webley? Yes. Well, then I think you would be glad to hear the information that I just gave you. So, on behalf of Hitchcock, 
set up a meeting with him and have him come to speak to these folks. Maybe spread bad word about Sheriff Wade and Marshal Sisk. My, that sounds like a perfect sequence of action. Yeah, uh, that's what the Holy Spirit led me to come tell you. Good day then, Mr. Lanesh. Brother Lanashan, pleased to make your acquaintance. Hello, Brother Bishop Webley. I received your telegram, Brother Lanashan, regarding new law enforcement in, in the town of Strawberry. Hmm? That's exactly right, Bishop. And they're not of the holy type. Hmm, the devil's children, hmm? Shall we step inside and discuss it in here? After you, Bishop Webley. How is Brother Hitchcock doing, Brother Lanashan? Last time I saw him was about a good week ago. We discussed our monthly donation to the church, which is now being jeopardized by the new sheriff that was hired. So that is what we must discuss, brother. First, we must pray to Heavenly Father, Brother Lanashan, in here in my prayer room. This is something the town folk need to hear. Ah, I see, Brother Lanashan. Heavenly Father. Brother Lanashan and your prophet... Bishop Wobbly, come to you today. Ask that you guide us in our work in the town of Strawberry to annihilate Satan's work as you did with Brigham Young back in his day. It seems as two prophets in the town of Strawberry are trying to lead your children away from our work. We ask that your might along with mine will completely and utterly obliterate them. Heavenly Father's name, amen. Brother Lanashan, through that prayer, Heavenly Father has spoken to me and told me that I should hold a sermon in the town of Strawberry to make our needs known to the community and guide them back to our work. Yes, yes, brother, it's beautiful. Indeed. Well, Brother Lanashan, it was a pleasure seeing you. This concludes our meeting. I will be arriving in the town of Strawberry sometime next week. Good day, Brother Lanashan. Well, there you are, fella. How, how you feeling? Feeling a lot better. Thanks, Doc. Yeah, I don't mind telling you. That damn pile of dirt you were buried under might have just saved your life. Hmm. Yeah, all that compact pressure on the wounds kept the blood inside of you. Now, even, even, even in that miracle, you don't touch them scars. You're gonna need to rest for a good couple weeks. Those are still major gunshot wounds that you suffered from, so you need to let them heal. But hey, uh, the sheriff and his marshal are coming by to speak with you. Howdy, sheriff. Hey there, duck. This, uh, this the fella that suffered those gunshot wounds over at the Mazelle Ranch? That's exactly right. Standing on his own two feet. Can't believe it. I'd be damned. Hey there, fella. I'm Sheriff Wade. Hey, I'm Drew Sisk. Hey, how y'all doing? Doing all right? So what's your name, mister? Pfeiffer Holloman. Well, all right then, Mr. Holloman. We're gonna need to ask you a few questions. You're gonna need to come with us. Yeah, the doctor already informed me. I'll be willing to tell you everything I know. Yeah, all right then. Hey, Doc, are we good to take him with us? Yeah, he's good to go as long as he, as long as he says so. All right then. We might have to keep him for a, a few days. That'd be all right? Well, he might need a checkup. Um, I'll be by your office to see. All right then. Mr. Holloman, you can follow me this way. Oh, Mr. Holloman, here's what's been bothering me. 
you've got a rancher who's been severely beaten. And then lying next to him is somebody who looks like a gunslinger or an outlaw of some sort. Now, you want to somehow explain that to us? Hold on a second. What'd you say your name was again? Jess Wade. And that's beside the... Oh, that's what I... I know you. You were in the Confederate Army, right? Yeah. I rode under you a couple of times. Yeah, I gotta say, you looked a little familiar yourself. But I rode with lots of people back then. Can't say I remember you too well. Anyway, right now we need to focus on what happened over at that ranch. Keep on talking and tell me exactly what happened. Well, I was riding with the organization that I thought was a legitimate business. Um, a fella by the name of Hitchcock. Hitchcock? What's that fella's first name? Uh, Jace. Ah. Okay. Well, keep going on with the story that you were just telling. Well, we pulled up to the Mazelle Ranch and to collect the fund for the protection service that Hitchcock provides. Mazelle didn't have the funds, no way of payment. That really frustrated Hitchcock. He started to beat him senseless. That's when I stepped in before he died. Hitchcock shot me. It's me, Angel Nahar. Oh, damn. Didn't notice you. What you need, Angel? I'm looking for the man himself. Where's Hitchcock at? Oh, bet you can guess it. Up up on his mountain, down by the hilltop. All right. Appreciate that. He in a good mood today? Hell, a lot on his mind as usual. But he all right. All right, then. Appreciate that. Oh, where the hell you been? Uh, you know how it is, man. I'm trying to get insider information on damn near everything for Mr. Hitchcock. Hey, you been down here in uh, Strawberry recently? Yeah, I was just there. I uh, met with a fella. That's what I'm here to talk to Hitchcock about. One of the Mormon fellas. Oh, what's it like in there? Uh, same as usual. All right then, man. Hey, Jace, it's me, Angel. Ah, oh, Angel Nahar, what do you got? Yeah, I met with that, uh, Mr. Lineshin fella out of the Mormon church like you asked. Ah, oh, I see. What did you collect? Yeah, the good news is, is that they're still spreading around the good word about you and all the good works you've been doing. But I asked him about who the new law enforcement was down there in Strawberry, and he told me that the, uh, his words, they're unholy, whatever the hell, you know. Um, they were once former outlaws and experienced gunfighters, gunslingers. Not your usual law type, um, but they got anywhere. There's a Marshal Drew Sisk, and the sheriff is a Sheriff Jess Wade. Did you say Sheriff Jess Wade? Yeah, Jess oh. Wade. Danny, I see you. Run, run, ride around town like a cowboy. Ride around town like a cowboy. Ride around town like a. 